Local organization is fulfilling a federal requirement to count the number of people experiencing homelessness in our region. They released numbers showing a staggering reality in Fox 5's Alani Latang. She's live in the Midway District with the breakdown. Alani. Staggering indeed, Andrew, Maria, good afternoon. And we're talking people that are living on the streets, on the side of highways like the one behind me here. And this was done by the Regional Task Force on Homelessness. This count they hope to be able to provide or develop procedures and policies that can really help address people that are experiencing homelessness. So more than 1,600 volunteers went out to count people living without a home for one night in January. The count um, is for people throughout the entire county. So volunteers use a mobile app with geo tracking to do their counting and volunteers engaged with people, heard their stories to get a better understanding of the trends in subpopulations. This federally required count shows a one night snapshot of what people experiencing homelessness are going through in a night. Volunteers counted um, more than 10,000 people experiencing homelessness and any given night throughout the county, unsheltered people along with people living in shelters and transitional housing. Those are the people that are being counted. And of those numbers, the CEO for the Regional Task Force on Homelessness says people are experiencing homelessness longer. They've also found that the number is increasing for people that are 55 years and older without a home. The count also um, shows a reflection of Caltrans properties and this led to them finding an additional 661 people. These are people that live on, on the highways or underneath the bridge or, or pass overpasses. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria says other cities need to step up as well and help with their situation, saying that many people without a home are taken back here to San Diego. The task force says this is a minimum number and doesn't represent a total amount, adding that the numbers help them understand the challenges in the population. It also helps us engage with these individuals to really have a greater understanding of what the population looks like and what the train trends are. So although this count is historically high, it is sobering, but it is not surprising depending on what we see every day. The city of San Diego stands alone when it comes to taking on this issue seriously, um, and we need other communities to step up and help in this regard uh, to actually house their own individuals who are becoming unsheltered uh, rather than passing them on to the city of San Diego and to our tax payers to, to, to provide for. The City of San Diego City Council will be addressing an unsafe camping ordinance next Tuesday. They're also going to address some long term issues that the City of San Diego can do in addressing people and, and helping people that are experiencing homelessness. Reporting live in the Midway District, I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News.